Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. My name is Jill and I do fashion and beauty videos. If this is your first time, then welcome. Today, I'm gonna talk all about the slip dress. It is something that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe. It's so versatile. It can be dressed up or down. You can wear it as a skirt. It's super flattering, especially when cut on the bias. It just kind of like clings to your body, but it's not too tight. I do tend to wear Spanx under my slip dresses just to kind of like smooth everything out. I just find that the fabric lays a lot better. So that's something that I would recommend regardless of your size. I'm going to show you lots of different ways that you can style your slip dress. The one that I'm wearing is from my collaboration with Park and Fifth. They are a Vancouver based company. They also manufacture locally, which I think is really, really important. It's female founded. We actually planned for a spring summer collaboration, but obviously with the pandemic that got pushed. And then we planned for a fall collection and then ended up pushing into the holiday season. You know, these are the kind of pieces that never really go out of style. So even if you get them for the holiday season, you can wear them for the rest of your life pretty much. So this is the Davenport dress. I am wearing a size extra small. This comes in black and white. So it's actually also a perfect option for a really beautiful wedding dress as well if you want. Park and Fifth wasn't actually making wedding dresses when I got married. Otherwise, I probably would have worn one of theirs because I just wore a really simple slip dress that actually looks a lot like this. It's got a really beautiful low back and it's tied, which is a really beautiful detail, but it's also really important to me because I hate it when tops and dresses don't have adjustable straps just because everyone's body is different every garment fits every body differently and i just think it's silly to not give people the option to have the garment fit your body as well as it can so i love that detail as well you're not really able to wear a bra with it but i find that just because of the cut and because of where this attaches to the dress right there you can actually almost get like a bit of a bra like feel where you know you can get some lift everything kind of stays put but like i said it's cut on a bias and i'm five foot five and this is where it hits so obviously it'll depend on how tall you are but it's a really really perfect basic slip dress okay so the first way that i want to show you to wear the slip dress is actually with a accompanying top that we made with the collection this is a organza wrap top and i'm actually just going to put it on like this because it's easier but i love this top so much So this also comes in white as well, and I will insert that here so you guys can see what it looks like. But you can wear this with the dress or you can wear it by itself and you can actually purchase them together or separately. It's got these amazing details. I love the buttons. I usually wear them undone, but you can also do them up and have like a bit more of a billowy sleeve. Got some volume here and it ties up in the back. I am just obsessed with it. It also makes a really beautiful bridal topper in white. So you can get the white dress and then if you're a little bit cold or if you just want something a little bit different, you can add on the topper in white. So this is the first way to wear a slip dress, kind of with a wrap top over top something really pretty and feminine super flattering i like that it's got volume around here just because something that i'm always self-conscious of is my stomach so you kind of don't really have to worry about that might as well show you guys my jewelry so this pinky ring is from my collaboration with true curated my deco collection this is lisa goslin david yerman this is majuri and this is leah alexandra this one is also true curated and my engagement ring this gorgeous necklace the green malachite necklace is from my deco collection with true curated 
and this necklace is also true curated Majuri. So these two solid gold hoops are from my deco collection with true curated as is this little charm and you can buy it separately or you can buy it with the hoop for a little bit of a discount and same on the other side. Okay so the next way to wear a slip dress is one of my favorites and that is just with a really simple blazer. I just feel like a slip dress is so versatile and depending on where you work but it can actually be really nice for work with a blazer and maybe a pair of heels although i guess people aren't really going into the office anymore so anyways um still love a slip dress and a blazer together i just think the blazer kind of gives it a little bit of a formal look but it's still a bit edgy like especially if you roll up your sleeves this one is from Maritzia. such a good pairing Okay, so the next way is a lot more casual. So you can actually wear a slip dress almost as like a skirt. I really like to add on a hoodie or a sweater of some kind and then a pair of sneakers. I think it looks really cool and really effortless but a little bit more put together and then another way you can wear this is actually with a blazer over top i love the blazer hoodie combo i think it's so kind of like effortless casual but the blazer makes it put together and it looks really cute with the slip dress as well kind of acting like a silk skirt And then you can also pair it with like a jacket or a coat, especially a longer one looks really, really pretty. I don't think that the coat length and the dress have to be the same. I actually think it looks cool if they're different. It's a really great layering piece. So whether you have like a crop jacket or a long one like this, it just kind of looks very like French and put together and it's one of my favorite looks. This coat is from Noise and it is vegan. Cruelty free. I love it, it's so 70s. Okay, and then you can wear a cardigan. So you can do something like this and you can wear it done up so it almost acts like a skirt again. I think this is really pretty because you almost can't even see the dress, although you could have it, you know, a bit more like that. This is Majuri Frame collaboration, this cashmere top, or you can have a cardigan open and you could do a longer one too, something like a bit more oversized, kind of like a grandpa cardigan. It's such a cute way to basically just layer your slip dress. And I love the camel together with the black. Okay, so for the last way to wear a slip dress, I'm getting a little bit more creative. So this is a oversized cashmere sweater. This one is from Uncle Studios. I'm gonna use a belt. So I'm gonna fasten it, not at my natural waist, but just a little bit lower, kind of like that. And I'm gonna tuck in the sweater. So it almost looks a little bit like a skirt but it's also really great because if you had a silk skirt like this and you tucked in your chunky sweater, it would like get all bunchy here and it just wouldn't look very good. So having a dress is actually a nice way to kind of make everything smooth and nice. So those are a lot of different ways to wear a slip dress. I will have everything linked in the description box. Let me know if you guys have any questions on the Park and Fifth collaboration, any questions on sizing, on the brand, anything. And thanks for watching.